Hey friends, and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with GTA 5 while launching the game. You got an error, failed to install Battle Eye. So, without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First of all, in the basic step, you need to head over to the settings menu of your system and then choose the option Windows and Update. Now, over here, if any kind of update is pending, make sure you choose the option Download and Install right from here. After updating the Windows, Secondly, if you have installed any third-party antivirus in your system such as Avast, AVG, Norton, make sure you completely disable them or better to uninstall them from your system. And thirdly, you need to head over to the game directory. For example, at my end, the game is installed in F drive GTA 5. Right in the game directory, you will find a folder with the name BattleEye. Right click on the folder and choose the option delete. After deleting the folder, you need to launch your game client. Either it is Steam, Rockstar Games Launcher, or Epic Games. From here, go to the library and you need to verify the integrity by right clicking on the game and choose option properties. From the left pane, click on the option installed files and you will find the option of verify integrity of the game files. Go ahead, click on it. Once the integrity is verified, the Battle Eye Launcher will be automatically installed into your system and once it is installed, try to relaunch the game. If this failed to work out, right click on start menu, choose the option run, type here msconfig. And then hit the enter key. Now over here, under the startup selection, you will find three options. Normal, diagnostic and third one is selective startup. Now from here, first of all, you need to choose the option normal startup. Once you have chosen the normal startup, hit apply. Now go ahead and restart your PC. After restarting, again open run command and this time type services.msc and then hit the enter key. Now right in the services menu, you need to press the B key to find a service with the name BattleEye. Currently, the BattleEye is not installed in my system, that's why it is not showing. So, once you find the BattleEye service, double click to open it and make sure the service status must be running. If it is not, you need to click on the start option to start the BattleEye service at once. After starting the BattleEye service, again open run command and again type msconfig and then hit enter key. Now, again, write in the general tab. Instead of normal mode, select your previous option, which is selective startup by checking these two options. After doing so, hit apply and OK button. That's all you have to do. Restart your PC and hopefully the issue will be fixed. If not, the last hope you have is to launch Rockstar Games Launcher. Go to the settings and over here make sure the battle eye option must be checkmarked. If not, checkmark it and close it. If it is still not working, first of all, from system try can also make sure you completely close the Rockstar Games Launcher. After that, you need to download a program with the name Uninstaller Pro. I have already downloaded and installed this program into my system. Once downloaded, launch it into your PC. And after launching, you will find the option of Uninstall Programs under the General Tool. Click on it. From here, find Rockstar Games Launcher and Rockstar Games SDK. Select both the programs one by one and then click on the option Uninstall. Click on the option Yes to completely uninstall both these programs from your system. What this program will do is, it will completely clear the registries also of the Rockstar Games Launcher. Once both the programs are completely uninstalled, open up the website of the Rockstar Games Launcher and click on the option Get Launcher and choose the option. Now you can see, even the registries are cleared by this program. Now the program is completely uninstalled. Now download it for the Windows, install it in your PC and after installing, Restart your PC and then try to launch the game and hopefully the issue of fail to install battle eye will be completely fixed out. So that's all about it friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue saving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.